Johnny Depp spotted at Muslim morning ritual. <laughs> a recent video of an Iranian man taking part in an Islamic morning procession in Tabriz received humorous responses from the Iranian and world media due to his striking resemblance with the famous actor Johnny Depp. Wait, can you make this full screen, Armin? Please. Mm -hmm. Um, in the video, the uncanny doppelganger is seen raising sticks as he participates in a Muslim religious ceremony called Mishak, a depiction of war preparations generally executed to pay tribute to the Battle of Karbla. Um, many fans of the famed American actor wondered if he had converted to the Shia sect of Islam. This incident has sparked many theories around the globe. Many speculated that Depp, exhausted from the lengthy and expensive legal battle... <laughs> with his ex-wife, Amber Heard, fled to Iran. <laughs> the mysterious man in question has been identified as Amin Sales, who works as a model. Some speculate that the success of his modeling career with local Iranian agencies might be due to his extreme resemblance to Depp. I, I think some people actually believe this. Like I saw some people were celebrating. Yeah, yeah. There were certain people who actually celebrated this. I, I wish what? I saved them. Wait, they're like, mashallah. <laughs> no, there was at least one mullah guy. I don't know, a religious person. I mean, I saw it like, and people were liking it. People were like, you know, Islam is winning. Like people thought, people genuinely thought that this is a real thing. That's that amazing. Wait, wait, if wait. you scroll down, we have more videos of him. Huh. Yes. Wait, it, it'll it'll show it in a second. Um, wait, wait, I need to translate this for you guys. Hold on, let me get the audio. Hold on, let me. Oh, okay. Re let me share. I this this. <laughs> Cosmic Actually, even has the funniest comment. He's saying maybe he was mourning for Amber's career. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen to this. Listen, this is actually very good. Let me know if you have the idea from this. You have yes. idea? Okay. Uh, she's saying, the girl is saying, look what Amber Heard has done to Johnny Depp. So, she, like, look at what she has done to him. So that instead of Las, Ve Las Vegas, he is at a Hosseinia in Tehran. <laughs> <laughs> wait can you make it bigger so we can see how much he actually looks like johnny depp okay. it is actually like a very striking resemblance this is very small though yeah. he does <laughs> He does look like him. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what is he <laughs> saying? This video is saying like I'm I'm pretty sure that newspapers tomorrow like are gonna say like look how uh, you know the a celebrity is like coming to a Hosseinia to celebrate to <laughs> to basically to show respect to Imam Hussein. Of course. Yeah, no, it's just making fun of. These are very Iranian jokes. It's like it doesn't very translate well to English. <laughs> I don't know how to translate this. I don't know. I think like she's saying like I um, I hope like because you do like Nazria and religious things like. If you do this in based on Shia Islam, you get favors done for you. For uh, the imams will go and speak to God on your behalf and do things for you. And she said, like, I'm hoping that your your religious things that you're doing is accepted and you get a new better Amber Hertz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> anyways, but like. I wish I saved the people who actually thought that this is real. Like people are like, look, we're winning. We're winning. Like even people, even American celebrities are now recognizing the, the love of Hussein, you know, the, you know, the gift of Hussein and everything like that. So well, apparently we have some people in our live chat because Higgs Boson is saying, I believe this after seeing the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was wrong. I thought it was the real thing too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I'm not I'm not I'm not 
I thought like maybe I'm being naive to think like these people are serious. Well, no, I'm not naive. So the people actually believe this. <laughs> okay. No, I, I purposefully made the title Johnny Depp in quotations for people to be like, wait a second, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love this comment from Captain Nadar. Come on, even non-Muslims got duped by this at first. Cut our slack for our, for our Shia brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially because they would love for this to be true. They would love for this to be true. You have to understand, this is like, like recognizing Hussein and like doing this for Hussein is uh, more important than being like being a Muslim, you know what I mean, for a lot of these oh Shias. Like even if he doesn't turn to Islam, but he just does this to respect Hussein, a lot of, a lot of Shias would like prefer that over you actually recognizing Allah and Muhammad. Oh my I mean, God. they wouldn't would, say would it like that. Would this be more important than going on Hajj? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for okay. sure. They wouldn't tell yeah. you that, but for sure. Like, yeah. okay, when I was a kid in Iran, they didn't bring Zamzam water like these only Sunni kids talk about, okay? They brought the this dust from Karbala, okay? Not the water from Zamzam. Zam -Zam. I've never heard of anybody like Zamzam water being that special to anybody, Okay. People want to go to Karbala, okay? Not, I mean, they go to Hajj because they have to. It's mandatory. Like, if you can, you go at some point. But Karbala, that's where the special. That's where the. That's when you feel the love of Hussein. Yeah, Mecca is where you feel the love of Allah. You know, Karbala is where you feel the love of Hussein. Ah, oh, that's yeah. right. That's more special. That's yeah. right. Um, that's, that's like, actually, I can tell. I, I get this. I understand why that's more special. It's more human. Like. Allah is this, this mystical creature, like this, like you can't relate. Hussein has a story. He died. He cried. He did all those things. Allah doesn't cry. Who gives it? You know, it doesn't. It, it, you can't relate to that thing. Yeah. Oh my God, Captain Nadar is saying, "Inshallah, Johnny will get better amber herds in Jahannam." Why Jahannam? Doesn't... Why would you say he goes to hell? It should be Jannah. Jannah, not Jahannam. Oh no, actually, no. He's right. He's gonna go to Jannah. I, <laughs> I mean, he's not. Well, he, according to Islam, he will go to Jahannam, and then his punishment might be surrounded by being by Amber Herds. So actually, maybe no, Captain no, no. Nadar he's is still, right. no, no. He's. I think what Captain Nader is saying. He, he's obviously as a non-Muslim, he's still gonna go to hell. But because mm -hmm. of what he did, at least he will get an Amber Herds, a better a version better of Amber Herd. Amber okay. Herds, just to make the pain a little bit more tolerable. I think yeah. that's what they say. Yeah. Silva Kumara saying, what are the Dawa boys' reactions to this? They must be beating the, their chests. I haven't seen anything because this the is Dawa a Shia boys thing. Are so, guys, the Dawa boys are Sunni. This is Shia. This is like, okay, the Dawa This is Kuf, the, according to the Dawa boys. This is Shirk. Okay, you think they celebrate? You think the Dawa boys celebrate this? This is this is worse than atheism. Okay? <laughs> like True. Like, no, I'm serious. What these people are doing, okay? This is worse, according to Sunni school of Islam, this is worse than anything you could do. There's nothing worse than this. This is shirk. Okay? This is Shia. The devil boys will not be celebrating this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This so whole story made me smile so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> any, uh, any other last thoughts on this uh, before I move to the last news? Or no, next no, I, news? I just uh, just want to mention also that this was like um, big, you know, trending on Iranian social media for a while. I was People talking to having... some of my Iranian friends about this. They're like, how the hell did you find out about this? I was like, oh, I have my ways because they know I can't read <laughs> Farsi. <laughs> <laughs> on, on like uh, English news that cover Iranian news in English language, like it was number one trending for days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. I wonder how religious this guy actually is. Like, what if he's not that religious, but he knows because of for his modeling career? Because, like, he his modeling career is they like likely because of his appearance. Oh, he actually right? is trying. To, wait a minute, I didn't know this. He's actually trying to look like Johnny Depp. Like that's on purpose. He is a model, and it's okay. But is he? He definitely he... utilizes the fact that he looks like freaking Johnny Depp to his benefit. So I wonder, like, if he was using, if he was going out to do the rituals as a way to get more exposure or if he mm. or, or maybe is he actually religious i don't know just a thought okay let me just tell you a lot of people that go to these ceremonies they're not very religious mm -hmm. it's like it's, it's kind of the thing to do 
Like what how like what do you why why not? Like you go and it's been, a lot of boys go to these ceremonies for the girls and the girls go there to mm. hunt boys. Mm. I've yeah. seen a cartoon, an Iranian cartoon of a, like a big hunky Iranian dude, like in a black t-shirt, like whipping himself in chains, like going like, yeah. And all the girls are standing in the car and they're like, ah, it's I mean, yeah. And it is a thing. This is a real thing. And there are like, there are these heavy things that not that many people could lift. Um, and a lot of boys are very interested in like lifting that just to show to the girls how strong they are. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it is it is used as a place to for boys and girls to meet each other like this religious ceremony is actually used for the exact opposite wait but why uh, why do they be lifting heavy things what is that supposed to represent first I'll, I'll tell you but silva just gifted um one atheist republic membership to somebody thank you so so much silva Kumar. that's amazing guys oh, our membership you. is so growing nice. thank you thank you um so i think if I remember correctly, I don't remember these things. In Karbala, during the war, uh, there was this person that's supposed to hold this banner, the war banner, and you're not supposed to let that fall. Okay, course, that, yeah. you're just like your entire duty is not to let that fall. Okay, so I think it started with that one person like holding that. Okay, but like over the years, they kept on adding to it and to it, so it was becoming more and more difficult. So you needed like fifty people to hold it, like. It keeps on growing and growing and growing and becomes like very hard. To, like it, it started with just a banner and then it, I, I forgot what the name of the thing is, right? But it's really heavy and people want to demonstrate how loyal they are to Hussein by not letting this thing fall. And apparently, through the strength make... of Hussein, I can lift this above my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you're showing that. Okay, so I think the message is that Hussein banner, Hussein's banner has still not fallen to this day. That's what. The oh my is. God, Mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my. All right. Gosh. Wait, even Hindus fought for Hussein in Karbala. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if this is real. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, Silva. Now, how do I gift it to a viewer? You did gift it to a viewer. I don't know who got it, but somebody got it. Yeah, Anyways. I don't know how this works. Yeah, but no, but it, it means I think how it works is that you give you 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 are a member, but now you can make other people who are viewers who are watching right now become members by just like um by the way, if you are a YouTube member, you get to come live on air and talk to uh, me during the QA. So when we have QAs, I post a link and then you get to come up and you can talk to me. Uh, and live you also on air. get but... access to our emojis like Suha is using here, except you can't see them you on can't stream see it, yeah but you get very cute emojis of me and Armin and Kalima. I love them so much. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Kali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below